Hey guys, day 12. Leap to lead. What's up? Um, so this is a quick one. Don't you love it when I say that? So, um, we've been working on our list of 100. I am going to post, no, at the end of this is what we're going to do. At the end of this video, I'm going to cut in Laura Godwin giving you guys some more ideas of people you can put on your list of 100. Um, I really loved the list she gave us a few days ago, and this is the next little chunk of the list. I think at the end of this, I'm probably going to make um, like a worksheet with all of those on it so you guys can have it for helping your new teammates build their list of 100 um, with some ideas. I'm going to put that in here on the end, so don't forget that's at the end when I finish. Um, I did want to talk to you guys about basket parties today and your list of 100. So as you've been working on your list of 100, like I said, these are just evolving lists. You should be changing it, moving it around, messing with it, growing it, and shrinking it when people join your team as often as you can. So always focus on your list. Always focus on your network. This is the framework for following up with your customers because as these people start making moves in your business, you're going to start putting them um, in completely different categories. You've got your list of 100 and then they're going to move into first time buyers and then they're going to move into hostesses and they're going to move into potential teammates and they're going to start getting hot and cold based on these lists and you're going to start keeping track of the conversations you have with these people. So um, what I want you guys to do for today is I want you guys to book 10 basket parties. A basket party, a pouch party, a catalog party, an on-the-go party, an anything party, that you, whatever you call them. Um, like we kind of talked about basket parties with Carrie Bro. Um, whatever your basket parties look like to you, one of my favorite ways to do them is just the bank bags from Scentsy with a few testers in them, catalogs, order forms, whatever else I feel like putting in. Um, those are some of the easiest ways to do that. I want you guys to look at your list of 100 and I want you to get 10 basket parties booked. Think of people who are involved in Bible studies or daycares or groups, sports, things like wherever they go. Find some, think of somebody who goes a lot of places um, to make it easier on yourself and try to get 10 basket parties booked. I know you're thinking, I don't have 10 basket parties. Like how am I going to book 10 when I don't even have 10 basket parties? It's totally fine. There's no reason not to book them out. So book one for this week, one for next week, one for the week after, and basically book 10 weeks in a row of basket parties if you only have one basket party. Book five weeks in a row of two basket parties if you only have five, etc. The more you have, the faster this will go. And I want you to think of your basket parties like employees. They're not making you any money if they're sitting in your house, but they're making you lots of money when they're out on the town, going around places that you can't get to, um, and they're so, it's so nice. They work for you. They collect money, they collect orders, and they come back to you and you reap all the benefits of having done a bunch of work, but not a whole lot. So make sure that you get your basket parties out. So your goal is not the same 10 people you talked to before, which you should have followed up with and collected your orders from. Don't forget to do that if you haven't yet. The next 10 people, I want you to try to get basket parties booked. So try to get 10 booked. Keep fighting until you get as many possible booked. Um, and just keep going. If somebody says no, ask for referrals. If they say no again, ask them if um, you, like, just keep asking. Ask for referrals. Talk to your mom. Talk to your aunt. Talk to your cousin. And just be like, hey, I'm trying something new. I would love to know if I could let you try this too. Don't make it sound crazy or like they're donating a kidney. Nothing like that. Just be like, hey, do you want some free Scentsy just for carrying around a bag of Scentsy for a week? Um, keep it simple. And I'm not saying post on Facebook. I mean contact your list of 100 and work on this. So you need to get some parties booked. Like I said, all of this stuff you're getting in your brain is not going to do a thing for you if you don't take action. And action can be very difficult and uncomfortable, but that's good. It means you're growing. It means you're going the right direction. So I want you guys to do that and then stay on here and listen to Laura giving you another list of possible categories of people that you could add to your list of 100. Bye, guys. Um, I'm going to use my super special book to walk you through um, a few more names to add to your list of 100, so grab that notebook. And I'm going to say some categories, and maybe it will jog your memory of more people that you can add to your list. All right, remember, even if you have gotten to your 100, don't stop there. Please don't stop there. You are on the verge of super awesomeness, so keep going, okay? So we're going to start with D. Yeah, so the Ds, ready? Do you know someone who attends a dance club? Do you know someone that's a daughter? A daughter-in-law, someone from daycare, a delivery person, 
and don't be afraid to pause me as I say these names because it might not come back to you if you don't write it down now. A dental nurse, a dentist, a doctor, someone that walks their dog, drama club member, um, a drama coach, someone who gets their clothes dry cleaned. All right, ease, electrician, someone from your email list, an empty nester, someone who's engaged, an ex-neighbor, an ex-coworker, F, Facebook friends, fast food workers, someone who's a father, a first homeowner, a fitness coach, a flight attendant, do you know someone who's a florist, a football mom? All right, what about a former customer, a former direct seller, former host, former neighbors, a friendly person, a fun person, someone who's on a fundraising committee. Geez, do you know someone who gardens? A girl guide leader, a golf club enthusiast, or someone who's a part of a golf club. Grandparents, someone that you have seen in the grocery store. Go through your guest list. These are things like maybe your child's birthday parties and baby showers, different cookouts that you have at the house. Go through those lists and write those names down. Gym instructor, gym members. Let's do H, hairdresser, happy person, someone who's a hard worker, someone that you know that's a member of a health club, a health coach, an herbalist, someone that you knew from high school, a host, a hotel receptionist, someone who is a house sitter, a housemaid, Someone that works with your husband and maybe a hygienist. So we'll stop with the H's. I hope that that has helped you kind of brainstorm some and get some new ideas for um, your list of 100. Um, remember, this list should be kind of a list in progress. You're always going to be building upon it and, you know, changing it and adding to it. And, oh, it's going to be fun.